This is a place to regain your imagination. Regain your imagination. Welcome to our first podcast called World of Dreams, a place to regain your imagination. Listen to stories of different worlds that people have created from their own imagination. Worlds full of secrets, monsters, full of creatures, or war where mutants live. Hearing about different characters. Characters that fly only around the island. Or listen to people's dreams from their bedtime, whether they feel like the dream will come true or not. Today you got a story from me, Danger Debs. You can follow the story on this podcast, on my YouTube channel, Danger Debs, or on Wattpad. Because today's story is on a house I imagined this week. A house full of mutants. Dead mutants. There is a care home full of 30 kids in a secret location care home. All these children are mutants. Dead mutants. Each child lives in a care home for 100 years to be cared for as a child and works for a spy agency. All these children are trained, ready for a mission. Missions are monthly to track people, kill people, save lives, help investigations, or go undercover. There's more things they can do with a spy agency, but if a child fails a mission, they will go back to their grave. All children have died on Earth and have been chosen by the spy agency between the ages of 6 to 16. They all have their own story on how they died and how they were found to be living in this care home. Some children were buried alive, or killed by their parents, or killed by the police, or died in their sleep, or been poisoned, or just knocked into a bridge. Some of them even died in war, but most of them went away from their homes and then died in a car crash. Every child who joined the care home must not interfere with their families or fail a mission. Or, if they live for a hundred years, they will be sent back to their grave with honours. Would you like to meet the children? Oh, I like that jacket. May I have it? No. Then, I'll kill you for it. I like blood. <laughs> that was May, who likes bread. Then there's TJ, who likes to clean. She will clean anything to no people. Say a name to TJ and she will give you the details of that person of anything she's cleaning. Then there's Daisy who breathes and swims deep, deep underwater. Next is Missy who can turn into any creature that has wings, from a butterfly to a dragon. Then there's Hasey. Hasey was raised nearby a forest, an enchanting forest, where did she discover the powers and then died. But she was brought back to life by the agency. She's like the daughter of Mother Nature. She can talk to any animal, name any tree, hide inside a tree, and grow flowers, even in the winter. There's Galaxy, who can travel through time and space, and she can also glow in the dark. There's also the twins, Max and Alex, who can drive any vehicle, from a skateboard to an airplane. Max is the oldest, then her brother Alex. Both are tall, 14 years old, with short hair. And they can both communicate to each other without moving their mouths. Next is the boys. The first boy is a war child born from World War II. He can fight in any battle, just don't say the word mama or he will rage over your war. Next is Hunter who can dispose of any bomb. He's only seven years old and he can dispose of any bombs in 30 seconds. Next is Fort. He's tall, skinny and can play any sport. Even sport he's not heard of, like ultimate frisbee, football, tennis. He can play any sport, just like that. Next is Cameron. Cameron's body is full of cameras. His body is like one room full of cameras. Anything he sees, when he blinks, he capturizes it, everything around him. He can only blink to take a picture or start a video or end a video. He keeps all the pictures and the videos in a chip on his back. He can't reach it, only the agency can. Cameron can't touch the chip, not even the caretaker. 
only the agency. If something goes wrong with him, another boy in the care home is Jam. He can fix any tech or machine in 10 seconds. Another boy is Jason who lives in the house. He has yellow and red skin. He's basically like a lizard. He's quiet and can climb up any wall up or down. The last boy is R. He's called R because he can stream any radio station or music album to play by just opening his mouth wide for three to five minutes. And that's all the dead mutant children from the care home. Not all children have lived for a hundred years in the care home, but a few have. Can you imagine anyone to live in that house and can be a spy agent with powers? Regain your imagination and comment back to me what character you imagined to be in this house. You can comment on the podcast on Mixcloud or you can comment on the YouTube video. Thanks for listening. There'll be more secret worlds coming from different people besides me, Danger Debs, and stories of characters and stories of people's dreams from their bedtime stories. Thank you for listening. Tune in next time. This has been World of Dreams.